We're guests at Kroner Medizintechnik GmbH. The company advises doctors' offices, clinical facilities and universities on therapy options and applications of shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive method to treat various musculoskeletal conditions. Cory Ulrich teaches us about shockwave therapy and reveals why it should be acknowledged in academic medicine. Shockwave therapy is used in orthopedics and traditionally treats three applications. The first indication is tendonitis. This includes conditions such as heel pain or plantar fissitus, lateral epicondylitis or calcific tendonitis. Another indication is myofascial pain syndrome. This refers to trigger points and muscular pain affecting the entire musculoskeletal system. The method is also effective for the treatment of back muscles and the spine area. The third indication is so-called pseudoarthrosis, which refers to non-healing fractures, which can also be treated with this technique but require the use of high-energy waves. Die auch ähm, gut behandelt werden können, allerdings hier mit einer sehr hohen Energie. Shockwave therapy devices consist of three components. The handpiece is directly applied to treat the patient. The control unit houses the technology used to generate the shock waves. Clinical pictures and indications can be displayed on the screen via preset protocols. Bei der Stoßwellentherapie bzw. den Geräten muss im Wesentlichen zwischen zwei Technologien unterschieden werden. There are two different technologies when it comes to shockwave therapy and the respective devices. One is called focused shockwave therapy, the other is radial shockwave therapy. Both technologies differ in the way the shock waves are generated. Focused shock waves can be generated by means of electromagnetic induction to create high energy transmission at a focal point. Radial shock waves refer to the generation of so-called compression waves by a compressor, meaning compressed air pressure. This creates more of a superficial effect, primarily applied to the muscle area. Focused shock waves are more locally applicable and used in the tendon regions for non-healing fractures, for example. Fokussierte hingegen ist wirklich bei den Sehnen ansetzen, sprich lokal anzuwenden und auch zum Beispiel bei den nicht heilenden Knochenbrüchen. Shockwave therapy promotes various effects in the body. It has analgesic pain relieving effects, restores mobility and expands range of motion. The third effect is a result of mechanotransduction where mechanical stimuli are converted into biochemical responses. This activates growth factors and stem cells that are responsible for tissue generation and improving tendon function. The fact that shockwave therapy is non-invasive means that we're not damaging any tissue. It's also an outpatient treatment and allows patients to go home right afterwards, which is yet another great benefit. Plus, shockwave therapy, for the most part, doesn't have any side effects, while the treatment only takes between 10 and 15 minutes. Shockwave therapy may cause mild temporary skin redness or swelling. There are no other known risks or side effects. Contraindications that restrict physicians from treating patients depend on the device. Die Stoßwellentherapie kann sehr individuell auf den Patienten und dessen Bedürfnisse abgestimmt werden. Shockwave therapy can be customized to meet the patient's needs. There's a wide variety of treatment accessories and options, which means you can treat all parts of the body. Some devices have anatomical attachments and equipment to treat the spine or tendons. You can also set the parameters of the unit to support any patient and adjust the energy level to accommodate the patient's pain tolerance. Intensität an die Schmerztoleranz des Patienten ganz präzise einstellen.